This is CNN Breaking News. This, Justin, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this, this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. And I can still see uh, clear as if it happened yesterday, the scene of when the planes hit the World Trade Center. Your concern is human oh loss. I mean, oh my God, another plane has just hit. Oh, another one just hit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Directly over my door. Oh my goodness. Oh God. There's another one. <laughs> exactly remember but I do believe my friend said oh my god Karen turn on the television and I sat down I clicked my television on and then sat down on my bed and just was in complete oh I'm oh my gosh what's happening and so when I woke up that was just a typical day I was actually here as a student oh, yeah. and uh, I came in from period 3 gym and walked into H209 Mr. Messes honored Brit Lit, and the TV was on, and the bottom screen had all these scrolling of what was going on, and that was, you know, we're used to that now. It was not common then, and all I saw were the Twin Towers, and they were talking about how the planes had crashed in, and, and the irony that he turned it back on at the end of class so we could see what was going on. This is pre-cell phones. And as he turned the TV on, they fell. Let's go to the trade tower again because, John, we now have. All right, so uh, the morning of 9 11, it was actually the beginning of my teaching career here at Easton High School. So I was uh, beginning my career as a teacher in government. So obviously, uh, the, the ensuing days were full of plenty of information that obviously uh, went along with my topic but obviously that day in particular was a very emotional day um, i think at the beginning of it it was very much uh, not sure what was going on but doing what we thought was best um, so you know when information started coming in and, and we started getting more and more knowledge of what was going on i think it really started to set in for for those of us that were here as adults and trying to do what we could do to, to best be able to handle what the students were going to go through and we're going through from a personal perspective uh, we actually had a member of our history department whose whose wife was expected to be on one of the flights um, and un unknown to him the flight her responsibilities had changed that morning but he didn't know that so uh, we we went through an emotional time as a department as a staff um, seeing his emotional response to what was going on thinking that his wife may have been on that on that flight so uh, that, that also added obviously to the emergence or to the emotions that we have here as a staff uh, for me and I think my age group I think it'll definitely be something that will will never go away from you know it's the the JFK assassination of, of, of the last generation it's you know the Challenger explosion uh, there's always those events that go on and 9-11 you know is something that it, it should always be remembered it should always be honored in that capacity um, you know and certainly uh, we continue with our, our concerns about terrorism around the world so I, I think that that is going to always be something there. Two distinct memories that I have is one I owned a cafe in downtown Easton at that time and we have a lot of New Yorkers that come to Easton on weekend and they couldn't get home. So they were stuck in their weekend homes and they hung out in my cafe. And so, you know, we watched the news together and all that jazz. I did have a friend whose sister was a teacher in an elementary school in downtown Manhattan, a block from the World Trade Center. Probably the saddest was a couple of days later, my son, I was out in the yard and all of a sudden his little five-year-old head was at his bedroom window crying and sobbing Ma and screaming mommy and I, I said honey honey what's wrong I hear booms is it happen are they bombing us and what he heard was the quarry 
down along the Delaware River and they were setting off dynamite um, for the quarry. In his mind, he was afraid that somebody had bombed us. He was terrified. And I just ran upstairs and held him and he cried, I cried, and I'll probably start crying now. <laughs> By the time I got home, when I went over uh, to my friend's house and we saw there was an eerie quietness because we realized there were no planes in the sky. And that had just kind of dawned on us that we were going to be living in a different world at that time. Down. We'll hear all of us soon. Yeah!